Hey y'all, what's up? It's Kristen from Kristen Plans or Planning Kalo on Instagram and I'm back at you with another video. This week I'm doing something very different from what you've seen on my channel because I am going to an event that's very different that I have not been to yet on my channel. So I am going to the SPC Planner Party and I'm so excited and I wanted to share in some of the fun with you guys as I started prepping for it. So I'm going to take you through a couple of things. The first is going to be how I made these super cute swaps. Um, this is the outside of my swaps and then this is what they look like on the inside. So as you can see, I really kind of went all out. At first, this was my only swap and even this I thought was a really great idea. Just something simple and sweet with the handwritten like details and I thought it would make it more personable. But then I was very fortunate and I happened to PR for some really amazing shops and they were so generous and printed out a couple of things exclusive to my SPC swap. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but I'm gonna walk you through everything that I did in order to get ready for the SPC party. So if you're interested in learning how I made these swaps, stay tuned. For starters, I think it's really cute for anybody to take the time to write a note. I've always thought that handwritten notes are just so special, even when I was a kid. Um, so I decided to do a handwritten note that basically just says it was nice to meet them and to drop my social media handles so that way I can keep in touch with them even after the party. Also, I thought this was a nice way for them to remember who I was um, because I know like there's going to be hundreds of people there literally and I just wanted to make sure that if they don't remember who I was, they can at least look me up on Instagram and be like, oh, that bitch, that's right, that's right, okay. So now I'm going to show you how I made my little clip. I had both of these things just sitting in my room from previous crafts that I had and I just thought I would use them. I got these little palms at the dollar store ages ago and then those gold paper clips are from Michaels and basically I'm just stringing the palm onto the paper clip and yeah, that's, that's literally all it was. I've seen people use hot glue and just hot glue palms onto paper clips and that works just as well. I'm now taking an X-Acto knife and just cutting a small little sliver into the cardboard so that way I can slide the paper clip through. And now I'm doing my little envelopes. I thought it was cute for them to say hello from Houston and like to show off that I kind of know how to write. Next I'm going to show you how I made this little sticker pocket that holds the things that are inside my swaps. I don't know. So I basically just got this paper pad that is cardstock from Michaels or Hobby Lobby, one of those. And I always get them when they're 50% off. So I like the watercolors in here and I thought that they would make really cute pockets. So I'm basically just tearing it off the perforation. Um, it's really important that your paper is 8x8 in order for the size to come out right. It could be a little bit bigger to be honest because some of mine still pop out. Um, I'm showing you that I'm about to cut those little teeth off because I don't like them and they look ugly and I don't want them on my paper. Um, so yeah, so I'm just taking this little cutter that I got from like Walmart, I don't know, and I'm just cutting little teeth so that way it's smooth on all four edges. And again, it needs to be an eight by eight because this will make exactly two sheet or two sticker pockets per sheet without any waste. So now I'm cutting them to fit the dimension. So I'm basically cutting it in half. Um, or four inches, like however you want to do it. I started doing it like this, but then I forgot that I could just read the four inch marker. And yeah, okay, so now they're perfectly in half. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other sheet. So when I'm done with this, I'll have four individual sticker pockets. So once you get them down to this length, they should be four inches by eight inches. So like eight inches tall by four inches wide. I don't really care. And then I'm just making a crease at the top and the bottom so that way I can see the middle without like perforating the middle. And then I'm folding in each side to meet that middle crease. This is just the way that I do it. I feel like it works best for me because I have to like visually see where the middle is. Uh, but if you're like a really great folder, like if you rocked the egg roll making at Christmas time, then this could be your this could be your moment to shine right here. Um, I say egg rolls because I'm Vietnamese and like we roll a lot of egg rolls. Um, but like I'm sure any ethnic folding food will do. Wontons, empanadas. I don't think you fold the tamales. Well I guess you do, yeah you fold like the masa into the thing. Yeah, okay. But yeah, so that's what I did. And then again, I'm just gonna line up where the two folds are and then cut from the crease to the end of the paper like a triangle. Um, I don't really measure this because I'm a child. And then I'm just like folding down the crease to make sure they stay. But I'm gonna do that with every single one. So again, just where that crease is down to the end. 
so yes that's how I did that I wish I showed you a better angle because I suck but like I forget that I'm on camera sometimes <laughs> so there's that so now I have four of those little pockets and now I'm just going to run them through the laminator I have these scotch ones from my best friend I went through this phase where like I thought laminating was like the best thing on the planet, which it, it still is to be honest. Like I love laminating shit. I'll laminate anything for no reason at all. Um, but my friend from college got me a laminator for Christmas one year and then my best friend um, went and bought me like, I'm not even kidding, like 500 sheets of laminating paper whenever he found out I was going to be a librarian. So I am just showing you that I have the scotch laminator and I have it set to run a 5 milliliter five milla something, I don't know, five milla thickness through it. Um, and that's just because the cardstock is thicker than what the normal paper is. And also the laminate I use is pretty thick. So that way it stays and it's like not going to rip or it's not like super flimsy is what I should say. I think the thickness has to do with like how flimsy it is, but this is me being impatient. And I was like, Oh wait, my ring looks really cute in the viewfinder. So there it is. So I run it through the laminator once and then I flip it over and run it through the laminator again. I don't think flipping it over has anything to do with anything, let, let alone running it through the laminator a second time, but I just like the peace of mind knowing that I did everything I could to get this to laminate perfectly. So once it's done and it's like out of the laminator, I will basically cut them down and it's really important that you don't break the seal of the laminate. And if you've ever laminated anything, you know what I mean. It's like a very thin white edge that goes around whatever you just laminated and it's so important that when you cut it you do not cut into that laminate like that laminate seal line because if you break into that line then the laminate paper will basically peel off of whatever you just laminated and it won't hold so definitely just be careful of that a good rule of thumb is just to leave like a sliver of space between the end of the laminate and then your actual paper so once you have it like this you can notice that like okay bitch I can't open it up hello and I just take an exacto knife and I'm gonna cut along that seal on the V but only on the V so I'm gonna show you what I mean I'm basically just going to slight pressure and just very lightly cut through it and that way I can open it up and then you can fit a sticker sheet inside. I'm showing you that at the top there's like a little bit of space where the sticker sheet pops out but I just don't care <laughs> and I don't think other people will care either. Like it's a swap, it's the thought that counts and I thought that you would like to hold a sticker in here so I don't know. But yes, so that's pretty much how you make the sticker pocket and I will catch you in a little bit to tell you what I did for my table mate gifts. table mate gifts I feel like I don't really have to explain it because you're gonna see everything and it's very self-explanatory but I just went and got some things that I really liked um, like those bags are from Hobby Lobby I made my swap cards a part of my table mate gift and um, again you get everything that's included so you're gonna get the sticker pocket with my two samples um, or my two exclusive sticker sheets from my PR shops inside of my table mate gift as well. And then I'm just showing you how it is a sticker pocket. Um, 
So definitely be sure to use my code Kalo20 for 20% off at Saucy Sticker Co. and Kalo30 for 30% off at Kinsey's Creations. The next thing I threw in here is this little sticker folio and I thought it was cute to store like sticker samplers in. So I showed you how you can fit um, a sticker sampler like this is my Saucy Sticker Co. one and it looks really cute so there you go. You can do that and it comes with some stickers in there but honestly I wouldn't recommend them. They're kind of trash, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna keep it in there in case you like that, in case you, in case you like stickers. I don't know. And the next thing I put in there are these sticky notes that say it's a planner thing you just wouldn't understand from Chrissy and Designs. I thought they were really cute and they're grid, so hello. The next thing is all about saving the fucking planet. Hi, I love the planet as should you and as should your children. And if you love your children and you want them to go to the park with their kids, you should start using this reusable straw that comes in my gift. Also, I packaged each tote or each table mate gift with a tote. Wow, way to ruin the surprise. So this is just this really cute reusable tote that I got at the dollar store and it's just really inexpensive and it's a great way for my table mates to be able to keep all of their gifts and swaps in one space and also save the planet. So that's how I did that and I just folded it up and then I tied it around with a rainbow ribbon because we are allies out here ladies and gentlemen. We love all communities and all people without discrimination, hesitation, or judgment. Am I right? Can I get an amen? <laughs> oh, that's problematic. But um, oh I am so sorry my phone's going off. Literally I have no friends so I don't know who would be texting me. I included this Ray Dunn pen and journal set. Um, each journal and each pen is going to say something different depending on which bag you get because it's just random, but I thought it was a cute little set and every stationary lover will definitely find a use for it some way, somehow. Yes. <laughs> I was trying to think of a rhyme like I was Dr. Seuss, but it couldn't happen. Anyways, moving on. So if you stuck around this long, this is what my completed table mate gift will look like. Oh, where am I? There I am, so cute. And you know what, y'all? I have a giveaway for you. So this is the first of many giveaways, and I am going to be gifting two of my YouTube subscribers one of my SPC swaps, which comes with the sticker pocket, the Saucy Sticker Co. foiled sampler, and my Kinsu's Creation exclusive Downho sampler page with my coupon code. It is important to note that even though I am giving away two swaps, they will not necessarily be this color sticker pocket or the color palm in the next slide. It'll just be chosen at random. So if you want to win one of these, all you have to do is leave a comment down below telling me what planner event you hope to go to next and you hope to see me at. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye y'all.